What's up everybody, welcome back or to the channel. So today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and initial review on a new electric pressure washer that I just picked up. Now, I've always been prone to using gas pressure washers for the last 10, 15 years or so. And the main reason for that is because back then, there were no really powerful electric pressure washers at that time. So the last pressure washer that I just recently sold was a Craftsman gas powered pressure washer at about 3,200 PSI and I believe around 2.4 gallons per minute and it had the Honda engine. It was a really good powerful pressure washer. I really liked it. However, there were some things I didn't like about it, mainly just starting it all the time, fussing around with the choke, cleaning the carburetor, that kind of stuff. So I got tired of doing that and my wife wanted to start using a pressure washer and she wasn't a big fan of dealing with the gas pressure washer. Now, doing a little bit more research on a lot of the electric pressure washers that are out there in the market, I found one that seemed to check mark all the boxes that I was looking for. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at what we just picked up. Okay, so here we go. This here is the Greenworks Pro 3000 PSI electric pressure washer. It does have a 14 amp motor that's supposed to generate roughly 2.0 gallons per minute. But from some of the reviews I've seen on this, it's not necessarily giving you the full 3000 PSI and it's probably not giving you the full 2.0 gallons per minute. However, based on what I've been reading and researching out there, this has been probably one of the most powerful and most accurate in terms of its ratings compared to a lot of other electric pressure washers. So this one here was the one I wanted to try. But either way, this is a brushless motor. So a brushless motor is supposed to give you more power, more torque, extended life, and it does come with a 10 year motor warranty on this. So this Greenworks Pro electric pressure washer is primarily what I've been looking for. I wanted something that's powerful enough to take care of a lot of the projects that I have going around my house on a regular basis. And I wanted something that was electric, that's easy to plug in, easy to start, easy to turn off, and just easy to store out of the way. And I think that's what I got here with the Greenworks Pro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start unboxing this and see what it looks like. And it should be fairly easy to put together. Once we get it put together, we'll test it out on a few things. One of the things I definitely wanted to try out was my foam cannon because I like using a foam cannon when I'm washing my trucks. Now I do have another truck here, but my wife has it out for the day, but there's my lifted truck over there. I have the Riker over here. I have my Harley over here. I have my dirty quad over here. So as you can see here, I'm always pressure washing my vehicles. Uh, I'm always cleaning out the garage here on a regular basis. As you may or may not have even noticed, I did start painting the garage because in some of my previous videos, I was patching all the holes in the wall and uh, I only have this little bit over here to do today, but I at least got this whole side done last night. And then this summer, I will be doing a DIY epoxy kit on my floor. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll show you how to do that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this unboxed and see what it's made of. Again, you're just gonna have your basic warranty manual information. We'll put that to the side. Now, just so you know, I got this from Lowe's and this cost me around $3.99. Okay, so on this bag here, it looks to just be probably like your cord wine bracket. So we'll set that aside for now. Here's your wand. It feels really good in the hands. It has a nice rubber grip to it. Very thick. Um, so it definitely feels really good in the hand. We'll set that aside. Okay, what do we got over here? All right, this is probably the wand bracket that probably mounts and holds your wand. Here's your top plate here. Now, one thing I'll tell you right out of the gate, just feeling this, this is metal. Okay, my last gas pressure washer, which I paid more money for, everything was plastic. But this actually has a very heavy duty metal build to it. This one seems so far to be very well made and it has your 15 degree, 25 degree, 40 degree, your soap, and then your turbo wand here, which is probably attached somewhere in here. But it's got this little rubber band here that kind of holds everything in place for your, your, your uh, hose. But again, so far, so good. It feels very robust. The quality of the build seems really good. So, so far, I'm really happy with that. Let's get the hose out. The hose feels pretty good so far. Has a nice bit of flexibility to it. My uh, last couple pressure washers had this like black rubber that was really stiff. Um, it wasn't as flexible as this. 
So this right here is actually really nice. I think this one here would wind up and bend a little better because um, my last one, I could barely ever wind it up and spool it because it was such a hard rubber, it didn't bend like this. So this actually is a very flexible hose and um, it feels really good. So we'll see how that goes. Here's your main bracket here on the top. Put that aside. And it looks like everything else is already built and comes together. Let me see if I can get this out. All right, so here, it must have fell off in the box. This is your turbo wand. Now a turbo wand typically spirals your water in a circular motion. It probably gives you about a one to two inch diameter circular pattern, but we'll put that back in here as well. Okay. Okay, really nice long heavy duty cord. And I really like this extension piece right here, okay? Because back in the day when I looked at electric pressure washers before, the plug here was actually on the back of this like safety box here, so you just have to plug it in the wall, which always made plugging this big lunky thing in inconvenient in some tight spaces. But this little extension is really good, so you can kind of like plug it out of the way if you're trying to plug it into a tight spot. This one here is basically already a GFI. So if you ever did trip something, it's just gonna trip this fuse right here and you can reset it right here on the spot, which is always really good when you're dealing with electric motors. So, so far the quality seems really good. It does have your soap dispenser on the bottom and uh, you can just fill it with soap and then actually you know, spray out soap. But I probably won't be using this too often. But overall, everything seems put together. You always wanna make sure you're looking at the hoses to make sure there's no kinks anywhere. And so far it seems to be on there pretty tight. Okay, there's no kinks anywhere. That's good to go. So yeah, I'd say we're pretty good to go on that. And the next thing to do is probably just gonna pop this arm in here. All right, so this one here. Just gonna go in the back like that. So. It looks like basically you're just gonna take your main rack that holds all your nozzles and just set it on this back piece right here. I'm gonna throw a couple of these bolts in here. Okay. And then I believe this wand attachment just goes on top of there. And then you're gonna have two of these long black bolts with two of these wing nuts. And you're just gonna basically slide those through from the inside with the bolt on the inside. Spin on your wing nuts. Okay. All right, so that's done there. wire brackets. You're gonna take this piece right here, which is the swiveling arm, and you're just gonna attach it pretty much onto this swivel base here. And you're gonna stick it right over top of that hole right here, just like that. Okay, then you're gonna take one of the bolts with the washer already on it, slide it down in there, tighten it down. And we are done. <clears throat> and then the purpose of these is obviously you can swivel them, you know, in and out of the way, but then you can take your power cord and wrap it around nice and neat out of the way. Okay. Go ahead. And let's get our hose hooked up. Okay, so this right here is just going to twist onto here, onto the top side. And then your water goes into the bottom. Okay, and we are good to go with that. Okay, and that's what this up here is for. You know, once you have it opened up a little bit more. 
you can just slide your hose over top of that and then just wrap it around once we get that all figured out. So that's done there. We're just gonna put that on and wind this on real quick for the wand. And then you have your quick connect at the tip here, okay? So we got that and then you connect this to here. Okay, so we're good to go with that. And then your wand will just pretty much hang out over there. So I think we got everything put together. Everything looks pretty good. And also it does come with a nozzle cleaner. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it basically it's just a really thin wire that if your nozzle ever does become a little bit plugged, you can just shove that in there and clean that up. So it does come with that as well. But I'm gonna put that in my toolbox here so I don't lose it. So let's go ahead and hook up the garden hose out here in the driveway and let's see what it sounds like when we turn it on. I did go ahead and get my garden hose hooked up to the front and I do have water running to the actual pressure washer because no matter what pressure washer you go with, you always wanna make sure you have water flowing into the machine before you actually start it or turn it on because if you don't, you could burn out your motor that way. So as of right now, we should be good to go. So now that we have the power plugged in and now that we have water running to the machine, I always make sure to give it a little bit of a pull just to get some of the air out of the machine first, get a little bit of water coming out. Okay, just like that. Always do that before you actually start turning on any machine. Okay, so now we got that, we got some of the air bled out. Now, this particular machine is not an auto off. What I mean by that is some of the smaller electric pressure washers, when you're not pulling the trigger, it shuts the whole machine off. When, as soon as you pull the trigger again, it turns the machine back on. This is not that feature. Once you start getting into these higher PSI electric brushless motors, they don't do that usually. So once you hit that power button, it is gonna continuously run until you actually hit that power button again, which is very convenient because again, on my gas one, I always had to choke it. I always had to pull the string to start it. You had an on off switch when you were done. You know, when you wanted to take a quick break to wash something, you had to come and turn it all off. It was a pain in the butt to work. This one, one button, simple and easy to go. So let's go ahead and try just hitting the button. Okay, starting up for the first time. And so far, that is really not loud at all. But let's pull the trigger and see if it does engage a little bit more sound. There we go. So ready? So it's winding up again. Okay. Let's come over here to the quad. Okay. I mean, it's, get, it's powerful enough to get the dirt off the quad. It's not bad. It does what I need it to do. Okay. Let's try a couple other tips here. Let's take this 40 off and let's try a 15 degree. Now again, the 15 degree just doesn't have as wide of a fan. So it's only going to be a little bit more of a tighter pattern. So it still has about the same PSI. But it seems to work okay. 
So that was very quick and simple and easy. So let me go ahead and fill up my foam cannon over here. And I wanna see how this works with a foam cannon. Okay, so I went ahead and gave the ATV a quick wash. Again, it was covered in mud, so it was caked on there pretty well. The Greenworks Pro 3000 PSI pressure washer did a pretty good job at getting a lot of that mud off. So I went ahead and I got a little bit of uh, soap put in my foam cannon. Let's go ahead and just try this out and see how it does. Okay. Far so good. But it's working perfectly fine. Okay, so so far it foams up pretty good. So the foam cannon does work pretty well with this Greenworks Pro 3000 PSI electric pressure washer. As you can see here, it did a really good job. Again, I didn't put a ton of soap in there, but I put enough in there just to show you the foam, but it worked out pretty good. And uh, all I gotta do now is rinse this bad boy off and we should be good to go. But my initial impression so far is I do really like this pressure washer. My personal thoughts are this. It all depends on what you truly are going for. Again, if you have more larger projects like industrial or commercial style projects where you need the maximum PSI and maximum gallons per minute water flow, this is probably not what you're gonna be looking for. But for most everybody else out there that is using this for home projects such as washing their vehicles, washing their driveway, washing out their garage, cleaning their siding, whatever the case is, this would be perfectly fine for those occasions. Now it does have a lockout here for safety. You just pull this back down and lock right there so you can't pull the trigger. But what I have noticed is that it's a little loose, okay? And a lot of times, you know, it falls open and locks itself. So I'll probably end up just taking it off because I never use those type of lockouts. But overall, it's washing my vehicles pretty good. It works perfectly fine with the foam cannon. It's not extremely loud. It's actually very quiet. It gives me just enough pressure to do the job that I'm trying to do. And I'm pretty happy with it. Let's get and turn it back on. Okay, and let's go ahead and I'm just gonna pressure wash some of this right here. See, look. Okay. So there you go. You're gonna shut this off. So what I'm trying to say is for your general projects that you're primarily gonna be using this pressure washer for, I think this one is a very safe pressure washer. And what I mean by safe is it's enough pressure in gallons per minute to do the job but it's not too much pressure and too much gallons per minute that could cause damage to your materials. So again, I could pressure wash my vinyl and I don't have to worry about cutting the vinyl. I could pressure wash my deck and not worry about cutting into the wood. I could pressure wash my quad and my motorcycles and not worry about damaging the vinyl seats and other things like that. Because again, if you have a more powerful gas pressure washer and you have a very thin fan tip, like a 15 degree or lower or a straight stream, you will be causing damage with a gas pressure washer. But overall, it did a good job washing the ATV. I think I'm gonna keep it for a while and try it out on a couple other projects. But so far, my initial impressions is I really like it. I mainly wanted to use it for my home projects that I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. I wanted something that was very simple and easy to use. Again, you don't have to fuss around with chokes and carburetors you know, and gas. Because here's another thing. On my gas pressure washer, by the time I would wash 
like two trucks and maybe a motorcycle, I was already out of gas and I would have to go buy more gas. But again, today's world where everything's inflated and gas prices are through the roof, I didn't want to have to keep filling my pressure washer up with gas. I wanted to try out an electric version. And so far, I'm pretty happy with this. Again, it's simple and easy to use. It's got a really long cord. The actual water hose here is pretty long as well. It's very flexible. It's an easy on off button. You don't have to worry about carburetors and chokes and all that. Everything stores very nicely. It's very, it's, it's just very easy to use. And this does give you plenty of power to do the majority of your basic projects. Okay, so we just moved the quad out of the way and I'm just pressure washing some of the dirt and clumps of mud off the driveway. But I just wanted to show you that this does have enough pressure to clean your driveway. Now this is an asphalt driveway, so it's a little porous, but it has enough pressure to clean. So again, if you do happen to wash something very muddy off in your driveway, this does have enough pressure to actually clean a lot of the mud and gunk out of your driveway. Okay, so as you can see here, I put the turbo tip on because I have a paint pan out here. I wanted to see if it cleans. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold it down with my foot and we're just gonna blast away. Look at that. That's a pretty good job. Okay, so I literally just got done cleaning my paint supplies from earlier today using the turbo tip and it did a fantastic job at getting a lot of that paint off. Now, if I wouldn't have let that paint dry for so long, it probably would have come completely clean. But because I was letting it sit back here while I was doing some other projects, I let it dry too long, but it did a really good job. But I would say so far, these tips are coming in very handy. And that turbo tip right there is really cool. That tip right there is gonna make my life easier every time I'm cleaning my paint supplies. Okay, so we are on my back deck now, and I just went ahead and I hooked the pressure washer up. I have an outlet right out here on the deck, and my hose is actually right around the corner, so I got that hooked up. So I'm just going to try this out real quick here, just to show you a little bit of how it works when you're trying to pressure wash your deck. Okay, it's hit our power. Now keep in mind, a lot of what's coming off is the actual stain that I used last year. And the stain didn't really take too well. So a lot of what's coming off is probably that, but I'm just showing you how good of a job it does. Cleaning that off. So probably what I'll have to do is one of these days take all the furniture off the deck and pressure wash the whole deck down to the wood again and then I'll just have to restain it again at another time. Okay. There you go. So as you can see, it's doing a fantastic job. Okay, so, so far so good. The pressure washer is actually taking a lot of the old stain from last year off that's already starting to wear off and look pretty shabby. So all I wanna do this year is pressure wash all the old stain off, let it dry, and then I'm gonna reapply either a new stain or a new paint on the deck. But as you can see here, it's getting it down to the bare wood and doing a fantastic job. So as far as the Greenworks Pro 3000 PSI electric pressure washer working when stripping a deck or cleaning a deck, I definitely give it a thumbs up because it's doing a fantastic job on my deck. Okay, so we just got this cleaned back up. The hose attachment here does a really good job keeping your hose out of the way, 
The back attachments here does a really good job of keeping your power cord out of the way. So as far as that goes, this machine here does a really good job at storing a lot of your accessories. But typically when you're running it, it's probably best to leave it down like that. So that way your hose has more room at the bottom. But for storage purposes, you can leave it up like that, not a problem. Now, the only thing that I would say I'm not a huge fan of is the wand attachment. These type of little plastic clips are never tight enough. I don't know why they don't just make kind of like a round, full round sleeve that you could just slide this down into, you know, like that. But they just never hold. Like if you see right here, that's where it's supposed to be. Now watch, as I'm kind of wheeling it, hitting bumps, I mean, it's already, see what I mean? It's already falling out. So that would probably be my biggest gripe on this machine as far as all the attachments go is the attachment to hold the wand. Okay, real quick update. I already went ahead and fixed this issue that I was having with holding the wand. What I did was I have some old mounts, you know, like these water bottle mounts, okay? A lot of these water bottle mounts that come like this, they come with a bracket that either mounts it to your bike or they come with this Velcro strap bracket. Well, I had like five of these laying around, but you could pull the Velcro tab out of it. So what I did was I just took a drill bit, drilled a hole right through here. Then I could tuck this down to the bottom, just like that, okay? Then I'll put the wand in, just like that. And then I'll take this. Again, I'm trying to do this with one hand real quick. Okay, sorry about that. It's just hard to get it through the ring with one hand. But then once I get it through the ring, I go ahead, strap it down nice and tight, Velcro it around the back, done. Now, my wand is being held in there and it's not gonna fall out, so I'm good to go. But so far, this machine is really good. I'm really happy with it. Again, I really do like how easy it is to work. Again, on my previous gas pressure washer, it didn't really lay down. And the attachments right here, I'll flip it up like this. My gas pressure washer stood up. Both of these attachments came under the bottom right next to each other. So when you're trying to attach the hose, you have the other one right here. So it never gave you enough hand room. But this one here, you can keep your hose attached up here. Your other hose attaches down here. Plenty of room for your hands, plenty of room to maneuver. Again, I'm really just happy with how this whole machine has been designed. Again, it's not as powerful as my previous gas pressure washer, but again, it's powerful enough to do everything that I would primarily use this for, which is perfectly fine with me. Again, for me, I would personally rather sacrifice a little bit of water pressure to have the conveniences that this machine has compared to dealing with a whole bunch of other headaches just to get a couple hundred more PSI out of it. This machine so far, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna give it a few months. I'll use it all summer long and then maybe I'll do a review video later in the summer towards fall on how it's worked for me. Okay, everybody, so there you go. So my initial impressions of the Greenworks Pro 3000 PSI electric pressure washer, I go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I give it a go. I think it's a great pressure washer for your general household projects like cleaning your siding, cleaning your driveway, washing your vehicles, and so forth. As you can see, I washed my ATV. It was covered in mud. It did a really good job with that. It did a really good job handling my foam cannon for washing my ATV and my vehicles. So for any of you that use foam cannons, this pressure washer will handle your foam cannon like a pro. So overall, it's got enough PSI and gallons per minute to do the jobs I needed to do. So again, comparing it to my last gas pressure washer, which was a 3200 PSI, this doesn't have as much power as that one did. However, it still does the job. But in my opinion, when you're trying to compare a more powerful electric pressure washer like this with a powerful gas pressure washer, a lot of it's gonna come down to what projects are you primarily doing? If you're doing some really heavy duty equipment washing, commercial or industrial grade projects where you really need a heavy duty pressure washer, then I would say maybe this isn't the right pressure washer for you. But for the majority of people out there that are using it for household cleaning, like cleaning their siding, their cars, their driveway, their decks, and so forth, this is perfectly fine. It'll do the job. 
But again, there are pros and cons between the two. So again, on the gas pressure washer that I had, I was always messing around with the choke and the carburetor. It was a pain in the butt, and it was always something I had to deal with every time I used that pressure washer. Plus, I was always filling it up with gas because after I washed two of my trucks, it would be out of gas and I'd have to fill it up with gas again. And we all know in today's crazy world where gas is inflated through the roof, getting out of using gas for your pressure washer might not be a bad thing either. But as far as ease and convenience of use, this Greenworks Pro pressure washer fits the bill because again, once you plug it in and hook up your water source, it's as simple as hitting one button. You press the button to turn it on, you press the button to turn it off, that's it. So if you're looking for a pressure washer that's powerful, but very easy to use, this is the machine you wanna go with. Now again, in my opinion, I don't think you should really go much smaller in size for a pressure washer, because again, if you start going much smaller, I don't think you're quite gonna get the water pressure you're hoping for. But overall, I really do like this Greenworks Pro 3000 PSI electric pressure washer. I give it a thumbs up, I give it a go. But that's it for today's video. I hope it helps some of you out when you're out there shopping around comparing pressure washers. So again, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it for today's video. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate you all. Thank you and as always, see you in the next video.